Hi, this is the Tropical Tippet for Wednesday, June 21st. As always, the thoughts here are mine alone, and in making decisions, consult the National Hurricane Center and your local weather office for the best information. We continue to have a pretty wild satellite loop for the Central Atlantic for the month of June. We have not one, but two vigorous systems, uh, one of which is Tropical Storm Brett here on the left, and Invest 93L on the right, which has not yet become a tropical storm, but is likely to over the coming days. I'll talk about Brett first, and then we'll spend a brief moment talking about the future of 93. Let's get into it with Brett on the zoomed in view here. And uh, no real surprises, as we've been talking about the last few days, a gradual organization and some strengthening of Brett has occurred, uh, but indeed the environment is limiting it, specifically mid-level shear uh, in the mid-troposphere. And this is causing the center of Brett to be located not in the center of the cloud mass, which would be a healthy state of organization, but rather on the western edge. And we can tell that this morning by observing some of the low-level cloud lines on this part of the satellite loop. If you kind of look beneath the feathery cirrus, which are moving westward on your screen, and look at the low-level cloud lines underneath, you'll start to see curved banding kind of shaped like this, and you'll start to see southwest wind curling in here, and you'll start to get the sense that the low-level center is somewhere in the vicinity of this circle on the last frame of this loop. This is on the southwest edge of a clump of thunderstorms that you can see popping off here on the northeast side of the center and you can see that most of the rainfall and heavy thunderstorms are well off to the east this is exactly what we've been talking about for the last couple of days as shear begins to limit the ability for brett to intensify further now it does still have some stiff wind on the north side the whole storm is moving westward fairly quickly and the way this works is that when storms are moving in a particular direction that kind of adds on if you will to the side of the storm where the wind is aligned with the storm's motion so the north side moving uh, with the storm moving westward will have the strongest winds out of the east and the south side will have weaker winds coming opposite to the storm's forward movement so we have probably 50 to 60 mile per hour winds on this northern side of the circulation we haven't had any direct measurements so far during Brett's life, but we are now within range of the Caribbean, close enough that the reconnaissance aircraft can fly into the storm. We have a mission en route as of this recording, and we'll soon get hard data on just how strong Brett is. But certainly not a hurricane at this point. NHC estimating max winds of about 60 miles per hour, and this continues to head westward. This motion will continue, bringing Brett into... Uh, the Lesser Antilles Islands sometime on Thursday night, and we're going to see it move into the Caribbean and then dissipate after that. This is the upper level flow showing why, and again, right now we have a fairly healthy upper level ridge over Brett, but it's still getting sheared regardless because of the fast trade winds underneath, and the shear will get worse because as Brett nears the Caribbean here on Thursday night, early Friday morning on the GFS, you'll see that the upper level flow has shifted to more of a westerly or southwesterly direction because we have an upper level trough digging into the eastern Caribbean and the surface flow is very fast out of the east here as the trade winds pick up. So Brett will get sheared to a more severe degree as it crosses the islands and will then move westward into the Caribbean and likely dissipate in short order after crossing the island chain. But not before bringing some hazardous weather to the islands. This is the NHC official forecast as of 11 a.m. Eastern Time here on Wednesday, showing that track toward the west, like we said, and the, the coloring here along the island shows that there are some warnings and watches in effect. Tropical Storm Warning in Blue for St. Lucia, Tropical Storm Watch for Dominica and Martinique, a little farther north of where the center is expected to pass, and a Tropical Storm Watch for Barbados as well. And Barbados will likely be to the south of the center, so perhaps won't see some of the maximum winds on the northern side of Brett's center, uh, but we do see a pretty vigorous airstream on the satellite loop on the southeastern side of the storm. The center is right about in there, and we do see some vigorous inflow on the southeast quadrant with some heavy thunderstorms. So we could still see some heavy weather and impacts in Barbados, but the strongest winds, at least, will likely be on the northern side. Again, flash flooding, a possible concern with some of the heavy thunderstorms moving through, dumping isolated high amounts of rainfall, but fortunately the system is moving rather quickly, so it will scoot by in fairly short order uh, and will be through there uh, by Friday morning, and the rainfall will start moving westward with it. Back to the big loop, I'd like to spend just a moment addressing Invest 93L. This is the wave behind Brett, which is also going to be tracking across 
the Central Atlantic over the next few days, and this has a high chance of development into a tropical depression or storm, according to the National Hurricane Center. If we look at the zoomed in loop on this one really quick, there is some evidence of a tight curl of the low level cloud lines right about here, indicating that some kind of low level circulation may have formed in this area, but we've seen this arc of convection fairly disorganized, uh, not really wrapping around the center, and it's pretty far from the center of where the circulation is developing. So far, this disturbance has had trouble maintaining uh, deep thunderstorms for a long period of time. Uh, yesterday, 24 hours ago, it didn't have many thunderstorms at all. Uh, that has changed a little this morning, but still fairly ragged and disorganized. But we could see a tropical depression form any time now if there is indeed a circulation that has closed off in this vicinity. If we look at the model forecast, this is the GFS 10 meter wind field. There's Brett. Here is 93L. As we move forward here, we'll see that Brett crosses the Lesser Antilles into the Caribbean, and 93L strengthens a little bit, becomes a tropical storm, and begins to turn toward the north to the east of the Lesser Antilles. And this is more likely than it was with Brett, uh, simply because the upper level trough becomes more entrenched. Uh, I'll show you quickly that the European model also shows a bit of a northward turn for 93L here within a few days. And at the upper level flow, what we'll see is that as Brett enters the Caribbean, here's 93L behind it, this upper level flow shows the trough well entrenched, uh, which is partly why Brett will die in the Caribbean. Uh, but behind it, 93L will feel the effects of that deep layer steering more out of the, the southwest, kind of forcing a turn toward the north here. And so on most of the modeling, we do see it moving right up into this area where the trough is. This will also impart some high levels of vertical shear and likely keep 93L from getting very strong in this part of the Atlantic. We have yet to work out the details of how organized 93L will be able to get during its journey over the next two to three days, but certainly beyond three days, conditions will become less favorable. And as this turns toward the Northwest, weakening would likely be expected. It's a little too early to know for sure uh, if the islands will be completely avoided by 93L. It's still possible that if the track is a little bit farther south, we could see a grazing blow of the lee leeward islands. Uh, there is still a little bit of spread and ensemble guidance that allows for that possibility, even if the system is weak. So we'll keep an eye on it just in case over the next few days, but there is no imminent threat from 93 right now. We have several days to watch this, just like we had several days to watch Brett prior to it coming into the Lesser Antilles. So we'll talk more about this if need be in the coming days. That's about it for this video. Everyone in the islands, please stay safe from a tropical storm Brett moving through. This did not become a hurricane, which is good news, but we could still see winds as high as 60 miles per hour and heavy rainfall and the potential for flooding in some of these islands. So take care, everyone. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.